hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today i am showing you how to make this delicious dessert yes it's a dessert called clafouti in french and we're going to do it a apple and cinnamon flavored you can flavor it anyhow you like but today i'm showing you apple and cinnamon flavored so if you're interested just keep watching <music> So here we're gonna start with all the ingredients. I have my bowl in front of me. I'm adding the flowers. Yes, the list of the ingredients will be in the description box if you are interested, yeah? So I'm putting the flour, the corn flour in the bowl. We're gonna put all the dry ingredients in there. So we're gonna add the sugar. We're going to add the um, cinnamon. Yes, this is cinnamon. And then we're gonna add salt. This is just a pinch of salt. We're going to add the vanilla sugar in there. If you don't have vanilla sugar, you can use vanilla essence. That will be completely fine and perfect. We're going to mix the whole thing together. We're going to put it aside and then we're going to mix the wet ingredients together. So I have my milk already in a bowl here, yeah, in my measuring jug. So I'm going to keep it in there. I'm going to pour the double cream inside the milk. I'm also going to add the eggs to the double cream and the milk and mix the whole thing together nicely. Okay, so now that we are done, we're going to pour everything inside the dry ingredients, yes, and we're going to mix it nicely using a whisk, yes, it's very important that you have a whisk because we want to mix it very well because we don't want any lumps in there. In case, make sure as well that you sift your flour and you sift your corn flour before you do that. Yes, I have to put it out here. And also, when you whisk, whisk it like that, if you end up finding that there's lumps at the end of it, you can just sieve it nicely and that will be done. Yes, there wasn't any lumps in mine. It was okay. Normally, if you sieve your flour and corn flour, there shouldn't be any lumps. But in case there is, just sieve your whole mixture and that will be completely fine. Now, in our oven tray oven bowl here yeah our baking tray here we need to make sure you butter it and you flour it you see the way mine is looking yes i rubbed butter all around it and I poured some flour on it sprinkled some flour on it now you pour all your apples in there yeah your chopped apples the shape of your apple is up to you yes and if you want to keep the skin of your apple or not that is up to you as well it doesn't matter yeah so now that we poured our apples in there we're gonna pour all the mixture on top yeah and that is it at this point i had a little bit of sugar like one tablespoon of sugar you want to sprinkle it on top before you put it in the oven it's gonna give you a nice crunchy caramel kind of yeah i forgot to do mine yes i forgot to do it and i put it in the oven like that and here i am using my air fryer yes just to tell you as well that yes you can bake in your air fryer as well it is possible so i am putting it in my air fryer and i only remembered in the middle of the process the cooking the baking process in the middle of it that's when i remembered i forgot to sprinkle my sugar so i came back to do so but the result was not pleasing was not pleasing yes because the sugar did not melt i tried to put it under the grill in the actual oven but still didn't melt and it burned the top of my cake yeah <laughs> it burned look that the picture there the video there i was trying to do so and it burned the top so please don't do the same mistake as mine just sprinkle your sugar before you put the whole thing in the oven yeah and this is it this is the result it's delicious it's very yummy thank you for watching my video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and see you in my next video bye